on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk supposed to be with and if there was a line with the person that they were supposed to be with then they would be working on a personality they would be working on shutting the fuck up half the time they would be working on a character they would be working on a lot of other things and then understanding that you know what i'm saying the work that you're supposed to do on a regular basis as far as just being your natural self and just going to the gym or whatever it is that guys like comes along with it but they do all of these other things because they're influenced by other women instead of paying attention to what men really want Yep. But Anton, a lot of people in the community, they're not taught that. So they're literally doing what they what they think is right. So Okay, Siobhan, I'll give you an example. Okay. Women come on this panel all the time and argue with us about what it is that we want. We tell you. <laughs> we literally tell you. No, well, no listen, listen. it's so a certain type of chick that we'll buzz down and make for the streets, and it's a certain type of chick that we'll marry. And they'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. but uh, you're seeking all of the attention over here. And they just go in one ear and out the other. I'm telling you, I, I, all these, these Instagram influencers, I'm telling you, Mr. Logic said it. Hey, back scratcher company, silly chicks back scratcher, because you're looking at their back the whole time. And that's what they want. They want this attention. It's not really for attention to men. It's for what you said, Big Tell. I, I agree. The fashion over. All the little stupid stuff. But when you have a majority of one group of people striving to be Instagram models, you got an issue. That's why you see an influx of BBLs coming from a certain demographic. It's insane. And tell me I'm lying about that, B-Teller. No, you're not lying. I, I, I'm writing down like the power of social media because it looks like BBLs are the trend. But then when you look in person, they don't look that good. So. Hey, so B-Teller. So, so, so ain't oh, nobody oh, going to oh, say oh, it. Oh, hey, this is a mythologic back scratcher right here. So look. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, that time, snap a picture for me. <laughs> yeah, four? Hey, I just made LaPeef Network a million dollars. The Lapeef back scratcher. If you're a social media influencer with a BBL, DM JR at JRinfoLapeef.com. We're going to get you these back scratchers because that's all you're showing anyway is your back. So, so, so ain't nobody going to say it, man. And I, and I just started to see something a few minutes ago. I honestly, you know, think it was initially a pissing contest between black and white women. Someone stated that Kim K was the first to get it. And then it looked like a black, you know, it looked like black woman held a big booty throne and had to re relinquish the trophy. So what do you do? We're going to make our asses much faster, uh, fatter. <laughs> then it turned into an ass war. I don't know about that. I Everybody. think it just got bigger the more attention. I mean, women, already had, uh, women already held the throne. So they're like, oh, we can't have them come in there and get taking our man with their ass. Well, the thing about it, though, Bruiser, is that the mindset of women in a lot of ways is so ass backwards because guys don't want girls with more weight on them. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we got that from. Like, listen, listen, listen. First of all, a lot of these chicks that's getting these BBLs ain't even had kids yet. And it doesn't absolve you from going to the gym. That's A. B, how is that the standard when we don't like fat girls? Mm-hmm. OK, I, I will say, though, OK, so I'm super slim. Right. And growing up, there was definitely a feeling of men, especially being a young girl, that men did want a very voluptuous woman. So See, Carmen, you got it wrong. The th let me tell you, baby girl. Well, perception. It may be perception. The perception just because chicks was getting getting got don't mean that those was the chicks that we was looking to wife up. OK. It's a difference between busting down a chick, right? Listen, guys will fuck anything, okay? We will, we will, we will, listen, we will fuck anything to a larger extent. Just because a chick is getting buzzed down does not necessarily mean that she's desired. That just means she's a thing. And so y'all had the wrong perception because y'all believed that the chicks that was getting attention was the ones that we wanted and those was just the ones that we used up. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, some of them girls like Trina. What out? Well, hold on. What is your definition of voluptuous? Because I think sometimes women take what well, we bro, think is thick you, you out been, of context. Was, bro, Trina been ran through. Who no, is that's not my point. I'm talking about the ratio, the body ratio. I'm talking about which. which you, what you said another thing that was disingenuous too, because 
they didn't get surgeries to compete. They took their ass to the gym to compete. Once they figured out that you can get ass and thighs by going to the gym, that's what they leveraged. They didn't leverage surgeries. So now when they ass started looking similar to black chicks ass by going to the gym, then now you got the motherfuckers going to get shot. Do you do you realize of the shit that they was getting shot in their ass in Colombia? It look, it was so look, what, what what's the look? And look, these not broke chicks, so don't say they Walmart Waffle House chicks. What's the chick name that had a uh that she had a flat tie on her Instagram live with her ass cheek? She was a singer. K Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Had a whole blowout on the live, on the IG live. Ass just gave out. And then guess what? <laughs> Another chick sat there and laid down to get that same. I I see if you pay money for it and get a run flat. Well, logic, the thing that people don't realize is that most of the time women do stuff in a lot of instances to impress other women. Right. Because think about it. Think about it. Let's put it in perspective. Right. Y'all seek any attention of every guy, but you only really got to get it right once. You only got to get it right once. So why are you seeking the attention of a whole bunch of other guys, especially if you already got to do right? And when you look at the, the behavior of women, it's literally a Me Too movement in everything that they do. All you got to do is find somebody that get a little bit of attention and it's follow the leader. Even women's rings. I've never seen a guy, women's rings, they nails, all of that type of shit. They do it for other women. Guys don't care about the majority of the things that women think that they're doing in order to impress other people. They're doing it to impress their friends. And so when you see a woman do anything, especially when she steps out of line, especially when she goes about doing stuff that, that, that a lot of other guys don't like, because the, the, the ongoing consensus is that men want a specific type of woman. And it's not a woman that look like she got a flat tire or a BBL or whatever it is that you want to frame it. Women largely spend the majority of their time trying to impress other women instead of trying to align with the person that they're supposed to be with. And if they was aligning with the person that they were supposed to be with, then they would be working on their personality. They would be working on shutting the fuck up half the time. They would be working on their character. They would be working on a lot of other things. And then understanding that, you know what I'm saying, the work that you're supposed to do on a regular basis as far as just being your natural self and just going to the gym or whatever it is that guys like comes along with it. But they do all of these other things because they're influenced by other women instead of paying attention to what men really want. Yep. But Anton, a lot of people in the community, they're not taught that. So they're literally doing what they what they think is right. So Okay, Siobhan, I'll give you an example. Okay. Women come on this panel all the time and argue with us about what it is that we want. We tell you. <laughs> we literally tell you. No, well, we are. listen. You're it's so a certain type of chick that we'll bust down and make for the streets, and it's a certain type of chick that we'll marry. And they be like, "Oh, but mm -hmm. I'm seeking all of the attention over here," and they just go one ear and out the other. 